Welcome to another high intensity resistance training session. Today we're going to shuffle a little bit around with the weights. So if you have two different kinds of weight, weighing of course, different, differently you are going to bring that. Because in the pulse sequence we are going to use a set of dumbbells and we are going to use it for the strength exercise. So in the strength exercises you will go a little bit more heavy on your dumbbells and in the pulse sequence it's all about tempo and you are going to go lighter. And you can of course not use any dumbbells when you do the part sequence. So dumbbells for you to use and you are going to bring exercise math. We're going to work for 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise and we have four exercises and going to complete it for three rounds. I will guide you all the way through and make sure to give you some modification if you need to do that all depending on your exercise level. So with this session I hope to uh, show you that you can exercise efficiently and smart and get in a good shape within 15 minutes approximately three times a week doing a workout and then you can combine it with do some walking on your rest day. So bring your equipment and ready to hit it hard and smart with me. Do just a short warm up, opening up in your shoulder joint and just bouncing a bit in your knees. And we are going to go with both arms smoothly, make this into big round circles. Of course, circles are usually round. And we are going to be a little bit less of a distance between our feet. And we're going to move forward and back up on our toes, open on ankle joints, swinging. Thumbs are pointing up, so we are opening in our shoulder joint as well. Stay up nice and tall with your chest and keep your chin in. And we're going to go for four and three and two and hands on thighs. Stepping up to a bit of a squat and opposite side. Keep ourselves up and into that straight position, engaging core and pelvic floor. Let's go for another two on each, pushing buttocks back. One more on each side, and we're gonna do a little bit of a narrow reverse lunges. Stepping front and squeezing, bring arms back, engage the muscle between your shoulder blades and around your shoulder joint. So just doing this short and warming up, squeezing. And let's go for another one in each. A little bit of a distance between your feet. Squeezing and hocking a big balloon here and opening up, engaging. So do a bit of an extension in your lower back, squeezing forward and inhale and exhale. Engage your core area and let's go for another four. Opening up three and squeezing two and one more bring arms in front alternative between right and left do some rotation so in just a little while we are starting the workout itself and we are gonna go for the first exercise you're gonna bring a light dumbbell because we're gonna do a jacks and you are going to bring either one dumbbell or maybe do the exercises with no dumbbell. So easing up shoulder joint, bring that one dumbbell and we are ready to go for a jacks, pushing up and back. So please make sure you keep your chin in, not pushing forward, arms a little bit away. But as you move your dumbbell away from you, you need to engage your core a bit more. And of course you can go with no dumbbell and do the jacks itself. Working for that work frame of 45 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise. So let's go with this one efficiently and just keep your shoulders down and engage your ab and core area, pelvic floor. So pushing up and slowly down. Nice and tight position. Keep your chin in and make sure you're not getting close to your teeth and your mouth. So bring it up or do the modification here. Heel down and up, or you can always leave the dumbbell. So you should go fast and not slow. So if this is too heavy for you and you find yourself pushing up and you can hardly go on, leave the dumbbell and do the jacks with no dumbbell. Inhale and exhale. Yep. If you have a heavy on 
sets of weight. You're gonna grab those because we're going to turn into an RDL and squeeze up to a straight position, engaging your glute muscles. Shoulders are back, chest is up, just a slight flexion in your knees, bring it forward, squeezing up. So you feel that you are bring yourself up to a straight position by squeezing your glutes. Slightly bending your knees so you can keep your upper body in a straight position, leaning forward. So engage that core, imagine yourself do this in a bikini. Don't let go of your core and ab area. Shoulders are back, no gorilla arms. So you are only coming near the floor because you're leaning forward, not before you're reaching with your arms. Hope that makes sense. Keep chin in, squeezing slowly down and up again. One belt, dumbbell to the side, and we are gonna go with high knees, or you can go up here, and you can do with or without a dumbbell. Leaning back, boosting that metabolism, getting shorter breath. So lifting up, knees are coming up, and if you find yourself only struggling to be down here, leave the dumbbell and get up and get going. So I always imagine myself, my dumbbell is seven kilo here, and that will be 15 pounds. I always imagine myself not weighing that extra kilos. So that's a good motivation. So when you leave the dumbbell, you can just feel what it is to be lighter than with the dumbbell. So knees up, chin is in, inhaling and exhaling. Let's go to and one coming back on our back pushing lower back down reaching up staying up here and slowly down again so as we're sitting up we bring knees a bit further in feet are up pushing lower back down lifting with your abs bring it up and slowly down not lifting with our head but lifting with our Abs, so pushing that kip and push lower back down, squeezing in, relaxing shoulders, inhaling and up we go, slowly and in control all the way down, inhaling and exhaling up on top. Yes, great. Up for our first exercise, jacks with or without a dumbbell. So you go lighter here if you bring your dumbbell. And we are moving out to the side. Squeezing and pushing your dumbbell up and slowly down. Engage your core, pelvic floor. Yep, don't forget about that. Find yourself, get a shorter breath. If it's too much, it doesn't matter. You just leave the dumbbell down and keep on the good work. So if you always say, ah, I'm not able to do it for the full 45 seconds, I'm not gonna do it, you're never gonna get better. You can do it for 20 seconds or 10 seconds. And then continue without. That's the only way of getting better. You want to go a little bit more heavy if you have another set of dumbbells pushing buttocks back. So we're doing that movement in our hip. Squeezing all focused on keep ourselves up straight, lifting ourselves up for that standing position and with our hamstring and our glutes, chest is up, keep arms short and tight, engage your shoulder belt, squeezing slowly down and if you know you have a bit tight hamstring, do a little bit more flexion in your knees. Squeezing, experimenting where you feel it best with your dumbbells, maybe we went a little bit further out to the side with your dumbbells. Squeezing up we go. Yes. 
We are now going in for that high knee with a, or without dumbbell. So leaning back, shoulders down, three, two, and hold on to your dumbbell and let go. So get those knees up and going. Inhaling and exhaling. Keep up the good work. Moving those feet up. Feel the perfect thing on your breathing. Inhale and exhale. Fast and efficiently here. Shoulders are down and going for some ab work right after this one. 10 more seconds. Keep it up. And five. Four, two, and lying down. Start the movement by pushing your lower back down into the exercise mat so you can feel your lifting up with your ab muscle. Yes, up we go. Squeezing in slowly and in control. Bring it up. So go a bit heavy here, but not more than you can do the lifting. Chin is in. Engage your pelvic floor before you uh, move up. Relax your shoulders. Number one, final round, jacks. Yep, stay with me here for the final round. Oh, do the modification, heel in, and of course, with dumbbell or not. So make sure that you connect with that pelvic floor because every time the dumbbell is coming down, you can feel the pressure in your pelvic area. Final round, do remember that. Keep a nice hold for that dumbbell. Eight more seconds. We are now in our final round. Yes, and both dumbbells. Good distance between your feet, shoulders coming back, and two and one. Leaning forward, squeeze. Shoulders back, do the movement in your hips, lifting up glutes and hamstring. Those glutes are not doing the job all without thinking. You need to be eyes in glutes, squeeze, push that belly button towards your spine for a good connection. Five more seconds, squeeze, yep, ready for the high knee final pulse exercise before we do the full sit up with our dumbbell and we have done the workout so leaning back knees coming up or you can do this do always try to do it as close as possible to the original exercise thereby the transaction uh, to the original exercise will go much more smooth Lean back a bit, checking from up, chin in, shoulders down, gauging core, pelvic floor, knees coming up. You know this is our final round and boom, 10 more seconds and you've completed our final pulse sequence for this workout. 
and we aren't working for that long so we need to push that speed and we are ready for final exercise lower back down and reaching up knees coming in slowly down so your hands are sort of like staying in the same position up we go all right if you get tired now you can go up reaching up keep feet down and slowly down and of course you can do the original exercise leaving the dumbbell oops yep focus and you know 10 more seconds and you are all there so of course we're gonna do that yes great time to start grab some water and you have completed this one sometimes it's great of course it's good to shuffle up your workouts and do different kind of workouts along the week but it's also sometimes nice to come back to a workout you've been completed before but then you can feel that you've got even better and you just have that you know what's going to happen and you can just hit it hard and push that extra 10 percent effort into the workout so you can always go have a look please hit the subscribe button if you get something out of it it helps the channel a lot and it helps you because you will get notified every time i upload a session and a workout so until i see you next time get some water and stay happy stay healthy and stay strong bye